The parallel multiple run feature in PSCAD allows a user to run the same simulation repeatedly with different parameters. This process may involve designing a system and then running the system under different conditions. In order to run a system under different conditions, you often have to change component parameters and states, then you run the simulation, and you save the data. Then you would repeat this process until all the scenarios are exhausted. Once you're done, then you would analyze the data from all scenarios. To support this, all versions of PSCAD up to 4.5 have a multiple run component. This component can be inserted into any project. The multiple run component is used to control different signals for each run of the simulation. This type of multiple run is sequential and uses one CPU core at a time. A multiple run of 10 would run the simulation 10 times, one after another. Early versions of PSCAD 4.6 had a feature called PMRI. A master project would control the parameters used by slave projects. Each slave project would represent one run of the simulation, and each slave would use a single CPU core. The master would use radio links to transmit and receive data to and from each slave. So in this example, we would have one master project that sends parameters to three slave projects. These three slave projects would run in parallel, consuming a CPU core. This helps PSCAD take advantage of multiple CPU cores. In later versions of PSCAD 4.6, there is a new technique of PMR. In this new way, there is still a single master project but drives only one slave. The slave project has a volley setting that dictates how many will be launched. Each launched instance will consume one CPU core. The master will still use radio links to transmit and receive data to and from the slaves. In this example, the slave project will launch three instances, which will consume three CPU cores and run three simulations in parallel. In PSCAD version 5, the parallel multiple run feature has been modified to be more of an all-in-one solution. The setup now involves a single project where you set up parameters in a table or custom component, and then you can set the total number of runs or tasks. Each launch will consume a single CPU core, and you can set the total number of runs at once, which is the volley. In this example, we want to run the simulation six times with different parameters, but we're going to do it in batches of three. This is very useful when you want to launch multiple simulations, but you're limited in the number of CPU cores. Ideally, you want to launch one simulation per CPU core. Let's take a look at how we set this up. This is the PMR example that comes with PSCAD version 5. This example is a simple electrical system with a fault being applied. The goal of this simulation is to run the same simulation over and over again with different fault types and fault durations. The fault type and duration defined here will be controlled by a custom component. Here. Each run of the parallel simulation will have a different rank number. This rank number will be used here and fed into the custom component, which will produce different fault times and fault delays to be used in every simulation. Let's go inside. In this example, you can see that the rank number is being used in this control system in order to find the values for fault type and fault delay. Another way of doing this is to use a table the rank number is simply fed into this table. And in the table, you can define the different values used for fault time and fault type.
in this example, you would then just take the fault delay and fault type signals here and attach them to the outputs here. For our purposes, we're going to stick with the custom component and we'll go ahead and set up the case to run. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your case and add it as a simulation set. Then you're going to set up your volley and your task count. Right click, go to options. And we see here that you've set the task count to 33, which means we want a multiple run simulation to run 33 different simulations. And maximum volley is also set to 33, which means we want to run 33 at once. To start the simulation, simply right click and run. And here you'll see all three simulations get launched at once. This is something you should really do only if you have 33 or more CPU cores available. Now let's suppose you have less CPU cores available. You could simply go to options and you could say maximum volley of three. And run it again. In this situation, with this setting, three simulations will launch at once and it'll run until 33 simulations have completed. This is ideal when you have less cores and you can adjust this number to however many CPU cores you have on your computer. This has been a brief introduction into the new parallel multiple run feature in PSCAD version five. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.